the details. Let's just understand where we're starting from, where we're ending from. And so, as usual, it's placement. <clears throat> Here's where I'm at with floor bar. If you are new to ballet, like Svetlana was, then it's a good idea to practice some of these things on the floor for a, a bit until you get comfortable with it. If, however, you are uh, an otherwise healthy, somewhat experienced dancer, then, or as soon as you get comfortable on the floor, you want to stand as soon as possible and face the bar. That's really where the work gets done. So in terms of strength building, not only whatever, if you want to look at it, muscles, but strengthening your coordination, all that really is best done standing facing the bar. So I would really consider facing the bar the starting point. I would consider this like a pre-ballet kind of a thing. Um, however, for adults, it's a good idea to start each day, maybe a little bit, she does. Um, if you're an injured, now that kind of changes things a little bit. So if you're unable to stand, and I'm thinking more of, let's say, like a foot, an ankle injury, or an Achilles problem, or something like that, then we can expand the exercises that you do on the floor, provided you don't violate any of the placement points, right? So, so we can make up a number of different exercises, let's say, if you're injured, right? So you could do a, like a fondue type of an exercise, or let's just call it... Um, well, you could show maybe a little bit of Ronda Jump. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to do it on this this one. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you could do. Go ahead. Now this is let's say you're a, you know well trained injured dancer, and you can't stand. So you could do things like Ronda Jump, for example. You could do like Grand Badma, for example, right? Provided you don't compromise your placement. So that's kind of what I want to frame this whole lesson in in those terms. So let me just review. If you're starting out, you want to use the floor just for a couple reasons. One, to get the coordination down before you stand. And it's a good idea, particularly if you're in a, well, I, I think adult and children, it's fine. Start your day doing these basic exercises. Um, forever, why not? You know, it's a good way to sort of warm yourself up and, and just remind your body and your mind of the coordination something to do before every class and maybe even after every class, something that will go along with your stretching, let's say. So you stretch, your floor bar, that kind of thing. Um, and if you're injured, then of course you can add as many exercises as you want, provided you don't compromise. So it's all about placement. It's always gonna be about placement. And by placement, as you know from watching the DVD, that means turnout, right? So it's all about turnout. <laughs>